All right, so I'm gonna try and do a France tutorial. I don't really know if the audio is gonna be picking up at all from the game itself, but I guess we can see. So yeah, oh, I'm trying this with no DLCs, just to see what it'd be like. So let me put it on regular and give it a shot. I'm not really gonna do Iron Man, just cause I wanna go back to a save file if I need to. So, we'll see how it goes. Haven't really done a no DLC game in a while. I'm gonna turn this down some, dang. Alright. So, what my, what my plan kinda is, I'm gonna start it out with a nice, uh, building up, extending the Magino a little bit. Gee, that's still way too loud. Alright. Let's see. Let's get some national focuses going. Yeah, our goal is to kind of get down here and extend that, just to get some extra forts uh, on the Belgian border. But until then, we can try and go historical and join Britain and stuff, or we can create our own faction and then eventually um, join them all together, just to get some bigger area. Well, let's see. Um, I think I'm probably going to go with those confirm Eastern Commitments, get some extra stuff going on. See, I think the fastest way would be to go through here, but do I want to do that, or do I want to go a different way? Um, see, I think I'm going to go with this way. Just get a little bit faster, let's get our civilian factories going, build them up across here, just get them started out, get a strong industry going for whenever the work kicks off. Uh, let's get our research done, just the basic research. Alright, let's see. It's military factories. Uh, let's get all of our units converted over to a pretty good one. This one should be alright. So I'm gonna get them all transferred over. Swap them out for this one. And then we don't need tanks anymore. So I'm gonna put some more on guns because we're missing quite a few of those. Um, I'm gonna cut these down to just one, just to make sure that we get them out since we already have so much production on them. And then after that, I can make some. Well, here first off, I'm gonna do this just to get these out and ready, and then um, we can get some new ones going. So first off, we gotta go with the the submarines. You know, the classic. They work pretty well. Get some submarines in there, some destroyers, some cruisers. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go with a heavy cruiser too. Same with a battle cruiser, battleship. And uh, um, I'm not really going to go with any carriers, but we probably should get some of those. Some convoys going. Let me set it up real quick. Just go ahead and assign a leader, split up the army. Just get it all sorted out. So we'll switch five of these guys over. So I'll just grab any five, really. Clear. Oh, I guess I'll make it somewhat more organized and assign like these guys into one group. Put them on the border with Italy over there. Get just a couple more to join in. Put all the stuff outside the mainland of France into this one. I think that should be pretty much everything. So then I'll grab four and also put them over there. I can split this one in half. Let's see. Let me, uh, honestly, I'm probably only going to get like 12 in this one. So I'll put the guy over there. Split it in half. Check him back over there. And then, let's see. Um... This guy seems pretty alright. I'll get him to go defend our territory down here against Italy whenever the war breaks out. Right here we really want some more defensive guys, so I'm looking... There you go, Charles de Gaulle. He'll do pretty good. We can get this split in half. Like that, let me reorganize that. Let's see, let's get some more good defensive generals. Oh, that was not who I was trying to get. Trying to get that guy. There we go. And then, oh, we can grab this guy too. I suppose. I'll put him on the southern border. I'll get Charles de Gaulle up here on Germany's border. Oh, I saw him down there. Yes, I did. Alright, never mind. 
Uh, let's see. Let me get this organized a little bit better. Put this guy up here first. There we go. That's more what we want to do. Let's go ahead, speed it up, and get going. We can go ahead and get the navy organized. Actually, I forgot to do that. Uh, so let's see. Select all of them. Put them all down here. It's a pretty good spot to get organized in. Set up your navy. You know. So I'll move some guys over there. And once they get there, we'll see how it's going. Right now, I'm just going to move all the airplanes to Paris and then we can redistribute them later. I just want to get them to a spot, make sure we don't got any anywhere else around. I don't think so. So that should be pretty good. Let me move these off of the carrier. I mean, I'm not really going to focus on Air Force to start it out. I'm going to wait until I get some more tech in there before I do that. Okay, and Charles de Gaulle's already sick. Well, I guess that's fine, because, you know... We're not really at war yet, so he's just kind of sitting down here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we should probably build up our infrastructure. Just so that way, you know, no one starves to death in the desert. So I think this should be alright. We can build up some stuff in here. Get a little railway going between the two. I'll go ahead and kick that up to priority. That should be... Should be pretty good. I don't think we have any borders with Italy down here. No, it'll just be right here on these two that we really got to defend. And then, oh yeah, also on Corsica, but I'll get some guys down there in a little bit. Oh yeah, also get some supply in the Alps. That's generally where it's kind of annoying. Uh, so I guess I'll do like that and then also get it connected over there just to make sure we got some more supplies. This border's generally pretty alright on supply. We don't really gotta worry about that too much. So we can just wait it out a little bit. Oh, well there's the Spanish Civil War. I mean, we want Republican Spain to win, and I guess I could build up Army XP by sending them some troops. Oh, well I guess I can't, because I need World Tension to be at 50. Alright, never mind then. Jeez. Well, there he goes. The Sultan of Devasa. That's not great. Well, anyways, oh, remilitarization, well, that's great, they're already going through it, so I'll get set up on some rearmament already, which is kind of lucky that it already went high enough, because normally we don't get that for a while, and you can't really rearm until it's, like, way too late, so being able to do that right now is pretty good, because we can go on our defensive focus as soon as we're done with the political side, which is pretty nice. So yeah, we can do, I mean, we could do intervention in Spain, but I don't really care that much to get them to win. You know, it's just kind of to help out with your military experience. But yeah, we're getting our stuff built up in here. Did I send the ones for the Alps up? I did already. Dang. All right. Well, yeah, supply and Savoy just sucks. So I'm gonna really, oh, uh, yeah, sure. We can go ahead and get some free mobilization. It's pretty nice. Then yeah, we go ahead and boost up these railroads just to make sure we get that supply there fast enough just to keep them all going. So that should be pretty good. It's a lot of railroads to build, but it should be alright. Okay, we just got rearmament finish, so we want to go defensive, but first I'm going to start doing some reforms. Getting more guns passed up. Alright, research is finished. We'll go concentrated industry. Because really, once I start getting more of that, uh, the Air Force in there, which I'm going to go ahead and get the next fighter. But really once we get our Air Force in, we don't really have to worry about getting bombed. Especially once we start building anti-air in, like, northern France. Which we already got quite a bit. But I'll just build up a couple more, like, over here. And we want some down here, just to kind of help out with that southern France. We don't really got to worry about western France, but I'll still build some just in case. Just to kind of help take out the German bombers. So that way, we'll be pretty good to go. Down here, we're getting the railroads built up. I do kind of want to build up a little bit more on these. Just to kind of help them out. I forgot to switch all these guys to trucks. 
So now their supply should be at least a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit better down here. All right, got some better construction going on. It is a little bit ahead of time, but um, I still want to go ahead. This because construction in the early game is really important. Oh, I didn't even realize they redid the dots into hexagons. Or not hexagons, whatever it is, pentagons. So that's pretty neat. I am going to get rid of the carrier fighters, actually. I just find them kind of annoying to manage. I can't wait for that new DLC where I could just send them to the international market. Get some, uh, what's it called, production for it. That would be pretty nice. But yeah, we can go down here, build up our alliances. And wow, yeah, that disjointed government is really hurting that political power game. I think we fixed that, like, here. I know, that's full employment. Oh, yeah, it's strength in government, and then remove disjointed government, which is why you really want to go down. The political one is France. Just to make sure you can actually get everyone in there. Um, let me see. I guess we can get an army commander. We can go army defense. Yeah, it's only 0.2 per day, which kind of sucks, but I guess it's alright. Alright, let's supply. Down here's doing alright. I am gonna actually also put this up on level 5, just because if we can push Italy out of North Africa, then we'll be looking pretty good. So yeah, I'll go ahead and bump these up. I'm gonna get all the infrastructure done before we start working on civilian factories, I guess. Which actually probably isn't the smartest. We should probably do civilian factories and then supply. But it's whatever. I'll go ahead and queue this up. But I'll just leave it in the queue. Down at the bottom. Alright, there's the political one going. Alright, here we go. Eastern commitments. That should help out. Um, let me see. Yeah, let's get the air reformer. I really want to get work on these two. The navy uh, isn't really that important. I mean, it's nice and all, but you know, it's not the best. So let's see, we got that. Let me go ahead and get everything assigned to the different regions. Uh, I do want to take this and split off the submarines just for some convoy raiders. So we'll take these guys, split them off, see if we can get a good convoy raider guy. I mean, this guy seems alright for um, submarines. And then right here, whew, I don't know. I guess we can go with this. And then, yeah, we'll put this group of submarines into that one, but we still want some submarines as part of our main navy, just to make sure that we can get some damage going on. So I'll go ahead and assign all these. Yeah, we're starting to catch up on guns, but it's still a lot that we need. Yeah, we're just waiting on some fighters. Dang, Italy already cleared out. Ethiopia, that was pretty quick. So, we've been doing some exercising and training. I'm gonna wait to do training until I got all the guns that I need. Because that will not be great if we didn't have that many guns. See, alright, there we go. New planes are done. Um, I'm gonna wait to produce them until we get to this one, I think. Although, I don't know, I might go earlier kind of depends on how fast Germany goes through here because I feel like once they take the Sudetenland that's when I'm gonna start building up my air force just to help protect it the Republic in Spain I mean they're gonna lose they pretty much lose every time but they're holding out all right all right now let's go ahead and do that Czechoslovakia yeah they like us they should join Yugoslavia and Romania them too yeah all right so we should be able to get them revoke that let's see I mean, I don't know. I feel like we probably should, just because of that consumer factories. Yeah, there's the new fighter ones. So yeah, now we should be able to be, okay, that only gave us one more. That didn't really help out all that much, but it's fine, I guess. We're just building up supplies. Let's see. I'm gonna move some of these. Um, here, I'll go ahead and produce these, just because I want to get some more 
civilian factories just out and going. And let's see. Germany, yep, still haven't done Austria, so we're looking pretty good. Looking around the world. Oh dang, what is all this? I am not used to this. Huh. Wow, yeah, I don't remember what that does. But let's see, I mean, still not at war with um, Japan yet. Oh, hey, well, we got Czechoslovakia in there. Let's try and... I'm going to go ahead and do strength in government just because we have to wait a full year before we can remove this. So we'll do strength in government and then we'll run through Yugoslavia, Romania, Franco-Polish Alliance, Entente, then do invest in our weaker allies and then foreign guest workers to get some more uh, manpower. Because we do want to start recruiting some soldiers soon. We'll get some more resources, I guess. But yeah, I mean, we're looking good on guns. Just closing the gap. Same with artillery and support equipment. I'm going to bump that up, though, because we are missing quite a bit. We yeah, had trucks. We're doing pretty good. I mean, I do want to, like, get rid of this production so we can get some more on guns, but I don't want to miss out on that production efficiency because it would take a while to regain. I mean, the guns are still going back up just because that daily gain is so low. Let's see, we're getting some more. We're already at 14 out of 15 on that last one. Oh, well, it just dropped down to 13. I'm not sure why. I guess someone stopped buying some stuff from me. Um, let's see, anything else on here? Yeah, I've got some research speed just to help out a little bit more. There we go. I mean, Czechoslovakia is looking pretty well defended. I don't really know. You could try and protect Czechoslovakia. You could let them fall. I guess it just kind of depends on how long it takes for Germany to annex Austria. So, I mean, if you've got, like, all of these guys in your faction and the Fr uh, the British, and, I mean, if you've got troops on the borders down here and you think you're ready, you can tell them that they can't take Czechoslovakia and try and hold them off then. That would kind of mess up the German focus tree, and then I don't think that they can go down through here which means that you only have to defend through the Maginot, which is pretty good. The only problem with that is that if you're not ready, you just get rolled over and just done with so fast. Same with like these guys. If they're not that well defended, they'll just get crushed, and then all the German focus will be right here and down here in Italy. So you really got to be ready for it. So just in case I want to take that up, oh, I'm going to just get rid of these, uh, except for the cavalry. They're pretty good for garrisons, which actually I got to come down here and change. Forgot to do that. Local autonomy, get some more compliance growth. And then, yeah, let's see, I'll produce, what is that? We need 10 more to fill up these. So I'll go ahead and get that going. I'll put them on high priority just to get some, just to get them out. Because we also need some defending Corsica. So I guess I'll get like six to do that too. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put those like down here, but I'm also just gonna keep them on kind of like that middle section. Because it's really not too important yet. And alright, yeah, there's Yugoslavia. Let's get Romania. If we can get Romania, then they'll be all linked up. Then we can try and get Poland. And then also the UK. I think since it's taken the Germans quite a while to get Austria, we might try and deny them the Sudeten land. And it all just depends on how it's going for you. Speaking of which, I should probably get the Navy guy just to start building up on it. Because what my main hope is, is that we can push them out of East Africa, North Africa, we can drop them out of Sardinia. And then we can try and get an invasion on Rome and Sicily, and then push in through here. Which, I mean, the only thing that these guys have to do is just hold. Because if they hold out for long enough, then we can be able to push in through just this whole border, which would be really nice. I mean, it'd be awesome if Italy just didn't join, but I don't think that's going to happen. Over here, I'm going to get rid of that. So that way it's not using any support equipment anymore. So let's see if I can. I think I might try and get these better guns. I mean, we're still like... Yeah, it'd still take forever to get those new planes. Let me get some more guns recently.
research. Oh yeah, I forgot they added in a whole new mobile infantry thing, like where there's new trucks before that. And these are the ones you need for rocket artillery. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Well, let's see here. Yeah, we still got a lot of catching up to do on guns, so I don't really know if I want to switch and start getting planes yet. I mean, I'll put it in the queue, I guess. And hey, there's Romania. Very pretty nice. Let's see if we can't get Poland in here. Because if we can get Poland and then also combine with the regular allies, we'll be doing pretty good. And I think at that point, we should be able to beat Germany pretty fast. But I'm not sure. It all just depends on, oh yeah, I was saying earlier, Austria. Oh jeez, worker strikes. Wow, yeah, that stability's pretty low. That is not good. And I do not have the, wow, they really just want everything gone. I don't have the political power for that. Oh dang. That is not great. Not great at all. Wow. Yeah, I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I think I'd rather take this conscription than I would this happening. So I think I'm going to have to demobilize the economy first. Which is kind of stupid because they asked for the economy to go up whenever I had higher war score, war support. And you would think that I'd have higher war support now that I have a whole bunch of allies over here. But I guess not. Yeah, we're missing out on infantry equipment, but that'll be going away pretty soon. Oh, well, hey, there's Poland in here. Let's get the Entente. Get the allies in here. Yeah, we need to... I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to get that done. Yeah, there's no way I'll be able to get those done. So those are going to fire, which is going to hurt us quite a bit. But I think I should be able to recover. I'm not quite sure, though. Yeah, they're definitely going to fire. There's no way I can get either one of these. Jeez, that's going to hurt quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, there's already that factory strikes. Till September. Oh, wow, that was, those outputs. That hurts. Hey, I guess we got some new units out, so I'll go. There's four of them. Let's see if we get another one out. Maybe. Yeah, we just need some more. What is it? Ooh, we're missing support equipment and artillery now. Now it's not as much on guns. Oh, yeah, there it is. We got the Entente's in here. Um, let me see. I don't know if I want to do this right now, because we're looking all right on manpower. We need more industry and stability. Yikes. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to... I guess start working on the defensive focus. So I mean I don't really want to do either of these yet. So we can start getting work on that. Oh yeah, there it goes. Um yeah, I overestimated my position. I'ma just let them take Czechoslovakia, I guess. See, so, yeah, let's get some artillery bonuses. Yeah, because there there's no way. I'm gonna be able to get all that stuff done. Like, it's just not gonna happen. So yeah, I'm looking not all that great because we got strikes going on, which is really eating up our consumer goods over here. Yeah, it's at 42% because of the strikes. Wow. Um, I should be able to get this one before we get even worse strikes wow well, yeah alright that hurts a lot but it's whatever come on there we go 
mobilize the economy. Yeah, now we want to get down here for that extend the Maginot line. And Alpine forts and stuff. Honestly, I'm going to try and set these guys up just over the whole border. Just that way they can get some entrenchment. Although I don't know if I have enough to support that whole border. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, I guess I did. Alright. Ooh, there that is. That just went up the weekly thing, so now I should be able to, yeah, remove disjointed government, which will help out a lot. I'm hoping that I can get that before the Germans invade us, because that surrender limit hurts quite a bit. That just means that they take Paris, I'm done, pretty much. So yeah, getting that um, disjointed government removed would be pretty nice. And once I do that, I'm going to continue down here. Once you get extended Maginot, you can do that, and you probably should get army reform. And then you can go down here to get some claims, or uh, not claims, cores on some stuff and some non-core manpower, and then do foreign guest workers. Or you might want to do foreign guest workers before expand the citizenship, just because that's 25% and that's 3%, and that 3% was only on non-cores. But, yeah, there's methodical battles, let's go defensive stratagems, and then we can get, I mean, I guess we can stay Grand Battle Plan and Doctrine, cause, just because that entrenchment helps out a lot. And honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and deploy the divisions, and put one of them over there, and the rest over here. I know they're not fully supplied, but it's whatever. And these guys, I'll give them... This guy looks alright. I'll put them in uh, Corsica. Yep, there's Germans against the Czechs. Yeah, there's there's no way we're gonna be able to defend them, so I'm gonna just give them up. Guess we can start working on some more of that. Wow, that battle plan is quite confusing. <laughs> That's just hard to look at. Look at how many different front lines they got going on. Jeez. In Britain, just sitting over there with a bunch of people on their island. Could have moved them over to help. But no. I mean, they're moving a couple guys onto the Maginot. Okay, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I've got pretty good stockpile of guns. Well, not stockpile. I don't have guns, which is the problem, but we're catching up on it. And I'm gonna start getting some mill factories, which honestly are quite important, and we probably need those like now. So I'm gonna go ahead and move those up to top priority. Uh, yeah. Like just those. And then I'm gonna finish out the two that I was starting on, and then also get uh, these up and running. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have it look like. Which should be alright. We should be able to help clear out some stuff. We should be getting our civilian, or our factories back uh, from factory strikes. There we go. Up. Oh, wow, we didn't even get to... Wait, did we even get an option? Did I just click it because I'm on autopilot? Or... I might have just clicked it because I'm on autopilot mode, kind of. Yeah, okay. Well, jeez, yeah, no, I'm not accepting that call to arms, sorry. But I would get crushed right now. You know what? Screw it. Give me a challenge. Put these guys over northern France. Although, actually, our, our air force is kind of on the offensive. So I'll put them over there. I don't, yeah, they don't have any anti-air guns, but somehow we're still losing some guys to anti-air, which is kind of confusing, but I guess it's whatever. Here, I'll go, I'll put them up in Northwest Germany. Oh, or not, all right. Oh, I know why, because we don't have any fighter support. All right, we're doing some, some ground damage. But yeah, we are losing quite a bit to that air force, so let's get some, what did it say I need? Yeah, attack bombers and naval bombers. 
tactical bombers and naval bombers. I'm gonna move these up in priority. Slot them down like up here. We'll see. Yep. This guy up there. I think tack bombers are probably more important than naval bombers. Trucks are less important than both. Uh, yeah. Wow, we're needing a lot of tactical bombers. Um, sure. I'll get some one lease. Start getting some weapons in there. Wow, we are also running out of fuel pretty fast. So I'm gonna have to trade away some of that to the U.S. I'll get like that much. Okay, maybe more. Jeez. All right, there we go. Now we're in the positives. And as of right now, I can actually just shrink the border because they haven't done much. Jeez, they're getting like pushed out of East Prussia. But that is not going to last for very long if they could just take. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I mean, they're doing all right so far. They're pushing, except on down here. We're kind of consolidating the front line a little bit. But, like, those checks are going in. Like, they're, they're all. They're on the full offensive. They just captured Dresden. Hey, Lithuania's in here now. Yep, yeah, they're pushing them out of East Prussia. Dang, this was a good call, apparently. I mean, I'm not doing much. I'm just sitting here. I might be able to, like, do that and push in a couple provinces. Alright, never mind. That did not work whatsoever. They got level 3 forts. I mean, to be fair, I have level 5 forts. Um, uh, yeah, I can't push in, like, anywhere. And all that's across the river, so there's no way I'm going across that. Oh, hey, Republican Spain won. You don't see that very often. I really thought they were going to lose. But, oh, I thought they were taken Konigsberg, but they're just attacking it. Oh, jeez, that one German tank is just going crazy. Alright. Wow, this is kind of wild. Um, get some of that. Get some ground support going. Start helping them out in western Germany. Alright, nice. Gonna get some more guns. I'm going to try and get work on that radar station just to help us out a little bit. And I guess I can go ahead and start working on the new fighters. Uh, let's see. Could I be able to attack from all three of these sides? Yeah, I can. I think I might be able to push them out of there, which would be pretty nice. Just take an extra fort, yeah. Spread them out across the line. Let's see if I can't do like that. Maybe. Uh, there's a possibility that I get that. I'm going to try moving some more units on them. I mean, it's going up, which is nice. I do want to leave one unit back just to help defend. We'll see. Oh, yeah, we're going in. All right, nice. And dang, there's already a civil war going on. Jeez. This is, like, either really lucky or just... I don't know, but this is going great so far extension of the alpine forts i was really expecting to just be like sitting on my border until like the late 40s but we're just charging through i'm gonna try and take a couple cities try and close up this border i guess yeah we need some more people up here italy's not even in the war so i'm gonna cancel this one i'll bring these guys up here too and then once they get up here i'll consolidate the front line Yeah, there we go, open, boom, and then just put up the whole front like that. Then we can kind of just tell them to push in through here, take some different cities. If we can, like, kind of cut them off and dart down to Frankfurt, that'd be pretty nice. Like right down here. Oh, yeah, he's not holding that. Ooh, maybe, actually. We're kind of pushing in some more troops. They can hold them out off in Munster. We might be able to push it and capture some more factories. I mean, it's all going to the new Germany. But, yeah. Dang, alright. Okay, wow. That was the easiest war of my life. Alright, well, I guess that technically is a France guide. I mean, I don't really want any of this. I can't really connect any borders, so I'll just pass it up. But I'll go to the other Germany. Um, yeah. Wow, alright, um, I guess that is technically a France guide, 
So this is without DLCs though. So I'm gonna do another one with DLCs later. But that was like the fastest game of France I've ever played. Uh, totally did that on purpose. Totally meant for all of that to happen that easily. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna keep on playing out and fight Italy. Just cause I feel like that was way too easy. <coughs> Sorry. Um, wow, I, I can't even like, why did, why did Yugoslavia give into that? They're in this faction, bro. Why did they, I don't know why they gave into that, but I mean, we've already got our Alpine forts. I have already built up, so I guess I'll just move them down here. Put them in the Alpine region. Yeah, I feel like I'd kind of be like cheating you if I didn't continue on past here, because it's literally 1939 before the war even started historically, and we've already got a new Germany that's democratic and in our faction. So, wow, that was wild. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure, I'll get some stuff over here. Um, yeah, we're just missing out on some infantry equipment. Which I'm trying to build up some more of. Like, oh, yeah, it's just because I switched. So once that production efficiency goes up some more, we'll be good. Wow, yeah, that was the easiest thing I've ever had to do. Um, yeah. Wow. I mean, my stability's up. I could do this. That wouldn't bring me past 50, so yeah, I'll go ahead. Yeah, there we go. We got even more forts up here just in case, even though we don't really need them. So I'll go army reform. Uh, we do need... Okay, well, it's like impossible to get more supply down there. So I guess it's fine. Um, wow, yeah. I'm just kind of, I'm in shock, really. That was the fastest thing ever. I think that was just like a lot of luck, really. I don't think I had much to do with that. But yeah, I guess that just shows you if you're ever doing a France game, go with a little Entente. It tends to work pretty well. I mean, every time I've done it, it's worked out well. Just not this well, you know? Like, just not... Germany capitulated before the historical start of the war well. It normally goes on until like 43 at least. So, wow, yeah, that like flew by. Jeez. But yeah, I'll go on to Italy as well. I just gotta wait for them to do that. That whole thing. I didn't even get time to like hit the major points of this thing. Like once you get through here, you gotta focus on your economy developing stuff. Yeah, that just flew by. I didn't even get to build radios, I just realized. That's crazy. Yeah, I'll we'll get some radio stations like over here and here. Just to help out with some detection uh, against the Italian fighters. Shadily should be pretty easy to clean up. See, we need I think 18. What is that? I don't even know what that is up there. Is that like special forces probably? I don't know. The, I almost said these guys is like kind of lower priority. Well, I'll go I'll go middle priority. I'll set it up like that. Um, yeah, we'll get foreign guest workers for the more manpower. No, I don't really want capital ships. Yeah, I didn't even get to use my navy. Jeez. Alright, well, here. I'll move them all down here. And set them up. Really, you want to raid, like, the central med or eastern med if you can. With your convoys, because then that'll block off stuff from Ethiopia. So I'm going to go send them over to Beirut. And then I'll have these guys doing just a strike force, like, in these three. And then once I get some more troops out, I'll do some naval invasions. Or I'll get some set up. Actually, I'm gonna wait, and then next time I get a research slot open, I'll research marines and get some of those to go invading. Hmm. Um, I don't really want that war support. I think we're good so far. Really, we should just wait for, I guess, the commandos for that special forces attack and capacity. 
and then also I suppose air superiority would probably be pretty smart to take. There we go. Grand Assault, pretty nice. We go Infiltration, get some bonuses to our just like leg infantry and stuff I guess. I'm looking through here. Yeah, I think we probably want to go Infiltration instead of Assault. Let's see, just building up. There we go. The radar station in Corsica is pretty going all right. Going pretty well. Alpine region. Oh jeez, why is that still so low? Radar's in range. Oh, well it only covers 13%. That's kind of odd. Um, I guess I can do like that and see if that helps out on me. It should, theoretically. Um... Yeah, sure, all the weaker allies can get some military factories, why not? Only take 70 days of my time. There you go. Was it Lithuania? And then probably just the Dominions. Yeah, a couple Dominions in there. Dang, they're already battle planning against the Soviets. I wasn't planning on going that far. I was just gonna do these two and then call it. I mean, maybe I might do a part two where I go with like Japan than the Soviets. I'm not sure. Let's see. Go ahead and move those up. Alright. Those level 2 radars should cover pretty much all of what we're looking for. In here. Like Alpine region, yeah, 26. That's only a 3. It was at 35. Okay. So yeah, those radars should be helping out quite a bit for our um, Air Force. Let's go... Oh yeah, I was going to go down here with the commando. And then also once I get another 100 air superiority. Let's see. Oh, I'm, I just forgot. I was going to do marines. I completely forgot about that. Jeez. Falling apart. But I'm going to go ahead and take fighters just off the radar completely. And wait until we get um, the marines. And wait until we get this one researched. And I got to remember to do the marines. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do some more raids on the Communist Party. Because the higher, um, the, the more support we have for our leading party, the more stability we get. You can see we get a point, uh, seven eight, or 7.8. That helps out a little bit, so I want to go ahead and increase that. a couple more days and we'll start really building up that air force I mean Italy just might not even do anything I think I can't justify until a, yeah a hundred jeez that kind of hurts so I'm, I'm hoping that they're gonna actually do something oh yeah burning burns I almost forgot again uh, so yeah fighter twos those should be doing pretty good against the Italians. Well, you know, once we actually start building them. Which, there we go. And after that, I want like five on those, three and three. Or, I'll do like 10, five, three. Actually, that's that's a lot. I'll do, I'll just do five, three, one. And then focus more on guns and that. Like, there we go. That should be a good. I forgot to bring that guy up there. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop out most of the divisions. Um, I'll just do like, let's see, what's it? I don't know the, the exact number, sorry, I need five. So there we go, that, that'll that make up for that. And we'll get some more guys in Corsica. But yeah, I mean like if we can just push through Libya and East Africa, then I'd feel comfortable going to Palermo. But I'm gonna get these guys to do some convoy raiding right here. And then once we get this cleared out, or I could do that and split it in half. Or no, I wanted to do that. There we go. So now we got 100% on each one. So that'll be blocking out down over there, and this one will be blocking out Libya. So once we get into the war, we'll be pretty well cleared out. Um, let's go ahead and get some extra entrenchment from the engineering companies. Um, I'll just lose some political power, and then we can do, oh yeah, support the Finns, I forgot about that. I mean, it gives me some army XP, although I don't know. I'm looking through here. Uh, hmm. 
I don't know, actually. I'm trying to think about what we should do. That would help out our economy, but it would hurt the stability over here. Naval rearmament, that could help out quite a bit. I think I'm going to do expand the citizenship and then um, just write down just a France individual or indivisible, but not French Union because then our colonies will leave. But yeah, like over here, we just got a couple of those guys. But yeah, this is a really our, our good. Oh yeah, I forgot those are cores now. But yeah, like over here, you can see we're getting a ton of support because we're on local autonomy. So yeah, we're like 94 on all of these guys. So let's see. We're that's some more concentrated industry to go through. Um, sure, I'll take some more war support. Why not? Never hurts to get more war support. And I'm pretty sure that's true. Um, let's see. I could get this guy just to help kick out the rest of these. Oh, for the Soviet white piece. And by white piece, they mean they took these areas. So it's not really a white piece. But you know, it's whatever. Oh, and Lithuania is standing defiant from the Soviets. Oh, they got an annex war goal. That is not good. That would send us to war with the Soviets. Although, I mean, I think we could crush the Soviets. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think that fighting Italy is going to be that hard. It's just a matter of can we actually get them to declare war? Because right now, they're not doing like anything. Here, I'll guarantee Greece. So that way, if they try and go in on Greece, we can fight them. Or actually, here, I'm going to fix my economy. I forgot about that. Then here we can start getting to work on infiltration. So yeah, we got Greece protected. Um, I think that's pretty much who they get war goals on. Like they can come down here and get war goals on all of us if they really wanted to, but normally they do like this. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know when they're going to declare war. Normally, I play as someone that can declare war, or I don't crush Germany before 1940, so that way I actually know someone's going to declare war on me. But this time, that did not happen. So now, it's kind of just a waiting game. Until we can really get that. So I'm going to just start building up. I still have no clue how to edit. At all. Whatsoever. So, um. I don't know. You could, like, skip ahead for a while if you wanted to. Or, you could sit here and basically just watch this screen until Italy actually decides to declare war. I don't know. Oh, never mind. Soviet Union declared war. All right, that's kind of important. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just... Yeah, never mind. Uh, don't skip ahead. This is kind of big. I'm going to go ahead and do like that. I'll set them up on the front line over there, and I'll accept the call to arms. Jeez, all right. So, yeah, we're at war with the Soviets now. I think Germany's had time to rebuild quite a bit. Yeah, 78 divisions already. I just got my Marines done. So I'll go ahead and train up. Uh, let's see, you can get 10 per thing. So I think I can add another one onto here. And maybe even one more. Yeah, I can. There we go. So I'll train up 10 of those. Um, and then I'm going to just wait for my army to move in. I guess I can send my Air Force over, but there's so many different things. It's just kind of annoying to keep track of. And there's a question of, is there enough room for me anywhere? I mean, yeah, I guess there is here. I'll start going in on Ukraine. I'll try and push to Stalingrad, I guess. I'm going to tell them to go um, safely, though. There we go. Um... Let me see. Or is that over here? Yeah, there we go. State Arsenal. That should help out quite a bit. Just for those um, other stuff around here. Because soon we'll be in a surplus of fighters, which is nice. 
So I'm actually going to kick it like that, so that way you can get some more bombers, which is really going to be where all that helps out. We also want some casts, see if we can get that, yeah, right in here. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and do like that. Just because we need some people to help push. My goal is kind of to go like Stalingrad, then wrap up and around, I guess, to take Moscow and Leningrad. It's unconventional, but it should do all right. I figured just because I got the Ukraine um, airbase kind of locked down. The only problem is we don't have like any detection whatsoever. And I can't like request a, a state. Wait, I can. Oh, that's a. There we go. Actually, that that's really good. Because now I can build up some a triple radar station in Odessa, which would cover a lot. Like, look at how much that would cover, seeing just like that. It goes all the way up to Belgium from down there. So that'll really help out. Jeez, that was kind of key, actually. Let me see if I can't get that as well. No, okay. I didn't expect to. I was just. It was wishful thinking. Um, let's see, we gotta put some more on guns, like that, that, that. Alright, now I'm also gonna move over my, uh, cast. Just these. Just start helping out in Ukraine. With some close air support. Jeez, why are all my units hanging out here? Alright, I'm gonna, if I put them on that, will they go? Okay, yeah. It's just because of the supplies. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna get this Democratic Reformer just to kind of help expand us by a little bit. Some more research. Um, I'll go with some new casts just to help out. Alright, let's see if they'll let me have... Where is it? Yeah, they did. All right, nice. So I can build a couple more. Just because that'll really, really, really help out our um, air map mode. See, like right here, we already get 8.7 due to radars, and then it'll also help out up here, I think, with that one in Kiev. Just because they're so close to it. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. I mean, now we're starting to get some manpower. Um, hmm. I'm gonna build up the, the air base a little bit more, just that way I can fix more airplanes in there. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, now we're really... Okay, that is not a lot. I was really think, hoping that we'd get at least a little bit more on there. And where are our fighters even doing? They're just kind of hanging out there. They're not even doing all that much. I mean, I guess I'll take like two and put them on interception just to see if that'll help any. Jeez, all right, uh, there we go. Yeah, all right, we're starting to shoot down a couple of them, but they just have so many. And ours apparently suck. Wow, this is awful to watch. This is why I like the DLCs, because I would totally just be building like really good fighters right now and just be crushing them in the air but instead we're stuck with this so I'll get a couple more doctrines going I guess um, let's see if I can't start an offensive in here no that doesn't look like it'll work whatsoever which kind of sucks although actually now that we're getting some more support it might go through I did marines number two which the Marines can't really do much if we're fighting, you know, Russia. I guess technically we could put them down here and they could like invade Rostov, but it wouldn't really do much. So I'm just not even gonna bother. I am, however, gonna upgrade our guns. Um, oh, and now I should be getting some more participation because I'm taking down here. So I might be able to occupy some land. Oh, uh, there we go. We got some production power. Sorry, production is power. Uh, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna drop down these extra guys, put them over here. Now we need an extra 12 and Marcel's. 
I know that's not how you pronounce it, but I don't care. Um, we'll see. Oh wow, yeah, that that kind of hurts the stability. I'm probably gonna go improve worker conditions just to get some weekly stability bonuses. Forgot that war. You know who would have thought war kind of hurts your stability? Never would have guessed it. I'm like, yeah, I can do that, but I really do want to get this improved worker conditions going. Might be able to start defensive in Crimea, maybe take Sevastopol. That'd be pretty nice. I mean, their naval bases are getting kind of bombed. We damaged two levels. We could try and cut off their supply, but we also have like no supply. Jeez. All right, I guess I'll start building some. Why not? Just kind of like that. All right, then where's a good supply hub at? Cause I know that there should be some around here. Is that one? All right, yeah, so we gotta really focus on offensive on right here. So if we can take that, then we need to take away their supply and give us supply. But the whole question is, can we take it? Which I think we can if our allies would actually help. Cause my units kind of suck right now. Cause I really don't have enough guns to improve them or tanks or anything. Let's get some extra ground support going. All right, now we're starting to, we got quite a bit of air superiority. So we're, we're doing a little bit of damage. It's not much, but it's something. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like that. Get some more tactical bombers helping out. Oh, there we go, we took the supply. I think that's also a supply. No, it's not. But we could cut off the railroad, which I think we already have done. So we can poop, uh, push on over to here which would really help out, but there's no way we're gonna be able to do that easily. Oh hey, the UK, I think Naval invaded Crimea and pushed in through there. That's pretty nice. Now let's see if we can't push them out of this tile and link up. I mean, I know we're linked up already, but just kind of extend the reach. You know, just help out a little bit. Kind of sweep in, we, oh, never mind. I thought we might be able to get an encirclement. I'm gonna try and connect up with them at Rostov. Just pushing along the coast. So I think we got naval superiority as well because of the British. So I think we get bonuses from having our navy. Although I'm not sure if that's the right game. Um, let's see. Uh, that would give us some civilians. That'd be kind of nice, actually. Yeah, let's get some civilians. Um, I'm going to slap some more stuff onto guns because we do need a lot. Alright. And my blinking assault on Rostov is not going great. But I think that Britain should probably take it soon. There we go. I got an upgrade on the, this cast. Um, let's see how we're doing. We're occupying quite a bit, so we should have a not insignificant amount of war score. Um, let's see if I can't get any better fighters. Yeah, no, there's no way. I could try and get some strap bombers just to take out like their, um, I think stability and war support, even though that's really low right now. Um, I could try and stage a coup. Let's put it, where's that? I don't want it in Rostov, where, where is? No, I want it over here in Vladivostok. Although, actually, I don't want it all the way in Vladivostok because then, you know, I gotta try and predict where we'll be in a year. Um, I think Kazan, that might be a good place to start. So, yeah, I'll do that and I'll start boosting party popularity. Democracy in there. Get just a little bit going, maybe. Okay, wow, well, yeah, that's not doing great. Oh, let's see, let's try and push on over here. I'm gonna send the Marines down here just to try and get them to help out in the Rostov offensive. Take that supply port. And then if we can take Stalino, if we can kind of go like up here and like kind of follow the railroad, then we'll completely cut them off. So I'm gonna try and do that. 
Because if we get in, encircle a couple of them, that'd be pretty nice. So yeah, there we go. We got an assault going over there. Got some more troops coming in. It's back up eventually. Yeah, we should be able to take Rostov kind of easily. Yeah, especially with our Marines. Our Marines aren't terrible. Okay, and Australia decided to naval invade for some reason. No, 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 don't, don't retreat, don't retreat. Stay there. Um, just completely give up on your orders. And then attack Stalino. Oh, jeez, we're not going to get this encirclement. I think they're going to be able to retreat before we do. There we go, attack bombers too. Um, get some more troops over here. That land knight attack, that kind of helps out, actually. Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know what to do. I guess we'll get some better artillery. Might as well. How are we looking over here? All right, we've taken Leningrad, almost taken Moscow. Looking pretty good, actually. Like I said, we got, like, all of Europe, except for the lowlands and the, uh, well, really, just kind of the lowlands, Scandinavia, and a lot of the south. But other than that, we're looking pretty good. So I think, I think once we take out the Soviets, that's probably where I'm going to call it, because this video is going on for quite a while, a little bit longer than I thought it was. My plan was kind of just split it up into like two or three parts, like the first one defending Germany, second one going on the offensive against the Axis, and then the third one against the Soviets. But I guess we're kind of combining them both in here. So I don't really know how well that's going to do, but we'll see. Alright, let's see, I'm going to get my guys over here and try and get them to push up to Stalingrad. Just give him an offensive order like that, tell him to charge in. I'm hoping that'll work. I'm gonna put them on offensive because they're marines, so they should do okay across this river. Although we're not even crossing the river. But, I mean, the unit's better than my regular ones, so they're kind of my more special ones. That are more good on the offensive part. Like this guy right here. I think they're. We might just be able to take Stalingrad, like right now as long as there's no one on it yeah there is just no one on it all right nice boom Stalingrad just fell where are they at now uh 83 jeez once we take Moscow that should be it I think so I'm gonna try and run around here and encircle maybe jeez this border though I gotta extend it on down oh, there we go so now my troops should be fanning out a little bit. I kind of want to try and get a little encirclement just to see if it'll work or not. Um, like just like right here. Move them all in. That supply is killing us though. Yeah, never mind. I'm going to take my marines and move them up to Moscow. Or near Moscow and tell them to go take it. They're basically just acting like what I would normally use tanks for. Which, speaking of which, I should probably start getting to work on some tanks. I mean, it's not going to help against the Soviets, because they're already right here. But against the Italians, it'll be nice. Nice to have. Um, we're doing a pretty good offensive. I'm trying to get, like, a kind of pincer maneuver, but I don't really have a good point to work from. I guess kind of like that. Oh yeah, we could push up against this cavalry and then charge around they're dumb enough to let that happen which it's the AI so they should be yeah we're right outside Moscow now once we take that I think that'll yeah that'll definitely be the fall of the Soviets once we take Moscow boom there it is uh, they should be at a hundred now yep I'm gonna try and take some of the territory on the Black Sea a little bit yeah like right down in the, through here Get some of that oil fields in the Caucasus. Yeah, I'm gonna focus most of my goals on that actually. Like right in here. And, um, yeah, just sort of down through here. They're really fighting me for this. 
You know what? I'm gonna fight them on some of this stuff too then. Yeah. What do you think about that, UK? Jeez, did the US take this? Oh no, Germany did, I think. Alright, well, I can't really take much. Uh, sure, I'll go ahead and take that. Why not? Might as well. Alright, I think that's pretty much the last thing connected to me that I can take. It's a shame that that couldn't fire, but I guess it's whatever. Yeah, I just want to go through, make sure that's everything I can get. I feel like that's a pretty good peace deal. You know, I got a lot of areas down here. Alright, let's see it. Ah, jeez, alright. Republic of Ukraine. Dem that does not look very democratic, bro. I hate to break it to you. There we go. Democratic Russia. That was looking pretty democratic. Same with them over here. Alright, so we just kind of changed the government type of everyone, and then I just, you know, stole all of this down here. I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. It's looking alright. Oh, dang, Poland took a couple territories. I didn't see that either, but yeah. Germany's gone. Look at this. Oh, they didn't even put them in the faction. They just kind of turned them democratic. Jeez, never mind. I thought that was a pretty good thing. I guess it's not, though, but whatever. I was able to get... Uh, no, that supplies a lot of resources. Yeah, I was able to secure quite a bit of oil, so now I can stop importing that from the U.S. I got some chromium. Yeah, look at that. I'm not buying from anyone anymore. Jeez, all right. Well, yeah, I mean, that's where I think I'm going to call it for today. Did pretty, pretty good, so. Um, I might do a part two where I take Italy. Just kind of depends. So, all right, well, that's pretty much it.